afternoon. More than a thousand, thousand pieces of legislation introduced the session, but only a few hundred made it to the governor's desk. And a good chunk of those bills they that didn't pass would have cracked down on criminals in our state. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is here with the story. Madeline. Yeah, Jessica, the sponsors of these bills say New Mexicans, particularly the residents of crime-riddled Albuquerque, want harsher penalties. From felon in possession of a firearm. Currently, it's a fourth-degree felony. That's 18 months in jail. And I wanted to increase it to three years in jail. To killing a child. I actually don't recall a single criminal penalty enhancement bill that actually passed the legislature this session. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle, predominantly Republicans, unsuccessfully tried to pass dozens of bills to up criminal punishments in our state. Law enforcement officer turned representative Bill Ream says crime has gotten out of hand, especially in the metro. I introduced legislation so you have to be driving a, a stolen car in a reckless manner and if you kill someone, it would be first degree murder. The governor herself advocated for DWI bills before the session started. We're not going to stop fighting for this. We're going to keep fighting for New Mexicans so that they can drive on these roads safely. One of her ideas was sponsored by Representative Sarah Maestas Barnes to allow police officers to video conference into DWI license revocation hearings. But all of these bills ended up going nowhere. In some cases, funding issues were raised. Others weren't heard because time ran out. Several were outright killed on a party line vote. Whenever the case, Reem and Maestas Barnes say it was clear cracking down on criminals wasn't priority for the majority party this session. It is the community who is demanding for us to make it safe for them. We need to look at job creation. We need to improve, look at improving our schools, but we can't forget about our communities and we need to ensure that they're safe. As for crime bills getting a second chance in the special session, it is possible the governor decides the focus of the session and we already know it will largely revolve around the budget crisis. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Madeline. The special session will cost roughly $50,000 a day. The governor says she will formally call for the special session in the next few days, but wouldn't say when exactly it would take place, just quote, soon. It's unclear how long it could run. Past special sessions have lasted anywhere from just a few hours to a week.